Hey, let's jump into the three biggest money secrets. Hey, it's Ted McGrath, and right now I'm gonna jump into the three biggest money secrets. I've got this gift for you right here for free that you can download to follow along with this video, and also it's a deep dive training into these secrets. So let's jump into this training right now. Now I want you to stay to the end because at the end I'm gonna share the third and final secret, which is kinda of counterintuitive, but I think you're gonna like that one the most. So let's jump into number one right now. Now I've made millions doing what I love, and what I love is speaking in front of people. I love performing my play. I do a one-man play in my life story from the stage. And I love being creative in front of audiences. So being on camera, spreading my message to millions, has served me because I made millions of dollars selling products online. But when you think about why people make millions or why people make money, I want you to think about one very important fact. I'll give you an example of this right now. I was talking to my sales team earlier, and they were talking about the month of December. And they were kind of like, you know, when the holidays come along, uh, you know, it kind of gets tough because people want to put things off to the new year or put things off to after the holiday. And I said, did you know that our biggest month that we used to have in the insurance business was the month of December? People are kind of like intrigued, like, really? During the holidays? Yes, because people will use holidays for excuses, right? But when your necessity level, when you have to achieve something, it doesn't matter whether the sky is burning, whether the holidays are coming, you go out and you be cause over your environment, you accomplish that goal. So in the month of December, the reason we were so successful in the insurance business come the month of December is because our entire year's income, in terms of the bonus structure we would get paid out throughout the year, our entire next year's income in terms of the bonus structure or the base you could call it that we would get, was determined by the month of December, how we finished the year. So how we finished was gonna determine a huge chunk of our income. So we had to finish well. So the holidays didn't matter in terms of our production. In fact, with the holidays, our production was better. Now most people look at a situation and the reason they don't have money is they see the problem. They see the holidays as an obstacle. They see the problem of the client not wanting to hand over the check as an obstacle. I see every situation as an opportunity. And that is how you actually make money. The people who don't make money, the only thing they see is the obstacle and the next obstacle and the next obstacle and the next obstacle. So the moment I told my sales team this, I was like, listen, well, why don't we give a bonus during the holidays right now? We did it in November and it worked, so why don't you do it again? So add a special bonus and call it a holiday bonus and it will incentivize people to take action during the holidays. All of a sudden, the problem that my sales team had in front of them disappears because now it becomes an opportunity. Everything in front of you can be used to your advantage. The question is, how are you going to use that situation? And most people don't think about this, right? You know, making money is simple. And one of the reasons why people don't make money is because they cause themselves a whole lot of problems. Because the other type of problem is the person who's not happy with the one thing that's working, but they want to change everything and create a whole bunch of new problems for themselves when they haven't even solved the initial problem in front of them. One of the things that's helped me succeed in my business, that helped me get to multi-millions in my business, and to have million dollar months was something very, very simple. It was doing less, not more. See, I, when I first launched online, I had like, you know, I'm gonna to talk to you about passive income in a second, about creating marketing systems that bring in passive income for you, which is income that comes in when you're not working. It's like income comes in all the time in my business, even when I'm not working, even when I'm sleeping, I'm making money. So I'm gonna to get to that in a second. The reason I was able to be successful with that is because at first when I launched online, I had like 15 things going on. So everything I was doing was a problem because I hadn't mastered one thing. So I was trying to do 15 different things and I wasn't doing them really well, so I had 15 different problems. And I was like, okay, well, how do I take this situation, this problem that I have, how do I turn it into an opportunity? And I looked and I was like, what's not working? Like, what is the problem in this situation? It's like, I got too much going on. It's not that I can't figure this thing out, it's just I have too much happening. So why don't I just condense the 15 things into two? I was like, I could solve two problems at once, right? There's two problems in front of me. Okay, now I'm looking at these two problems. What are the problems we're having with this thing? 
The problem wasn't even the problem. The problem was that I didn't even have time to look at the problem because I had 15 other problems that were distracting me from looking at one for any given length of time. You see? So the moment I narrowed my focus, I think Warren Buffett said this, somebody said this, narrow your focus, you widen your profits. So I narrowed my focus and I said, I'm going to get really good on these two marketing systems. That's it, not 15, two. The moment I did, I was able to look at it and see, oh wow, it's so simple, the problem's right here. This is, just, this is what we need to do. And then all of a sudden I started to have ideas, right? Because I was able to look at one thing or two things at a time and that was it. And my brain, my, my mind focused on two things was able to come up with a great solution that was really, really simple. So here's the deal, people who make money, they don't look at a situation and go, it's so complex, or they don't look at the holidays and go, oh my God, it's an obstacle, we ought to don't just give up to the new year and stop running a business. A business owner never thinks like this. You know why? Because a business owner still needs to write checks for people's salaries. So at the end of the day, the business owner actually has to write the check, whether it's a holiday, whether it doesn't matter what it is. The business owner always thinking about money because the lights are on, they're paying for the bills 24-7, 365. So they have to look at those situations as opportunities, not problems. Totally different perspective, right? They have to continue to bring in revenue. So as you start thinking about money, even if you're sitting in front of a customer and the customer brings up a problem. It's like, we do this all the time in a sales situation where the customer's like, well, I don't really have the time. That's, that's amazing. That's great. So what we should really do is focus on how you can find the time in your life so you can do the thing that's most important to you. So let's have a conversation now about weeding out all the things that aren't important and let's talk about the thing that is most important and the fact that you brought this problem to me, I think that's great because we can solve it now and then you can move forward and you can have your dreams and you can buy this product. So everything becomes an opportunity. Everything. Because there's always a solution available. Always. It just depends how you look at the situation. I grew up in a family where you know, most, of my, mo most of my family that I grew up with is like a lot of, on, on, particularly on my mother's side, like a lot of just looking at the problem, looking at the problem, looking at the problem, looking at what's wrong, looking at what's wrong. You know? So automatically you sit there and you observe that and you're like, oh, you just look at what's wrong all the time. Now, I have to thank my mom for that gift actually because when there's a problem, I can find it right away because my attention automatically goes, what's wrong, what's wrong, what's wrong? So I can actually see what's wrong in the situation like instantly which is actually a great gift when you think about it. You could look at it and say like, I could let the thing that's wrong stop me from succeeding and thriving in my life. Or if your attention goes and finds the thing that's wrong or the problem right away, just go, oh, there's the problem. Because a lot of times people will just spin on the problem. They'll just spin on the problem, spin on the problem, spin on the problem. They won't even, they can't locate the problem. But you find the problem, you got the solution. Pretty simple. So you should actually be excited when there's a problem that shows up on something that you're actually working on because to me it's an opportunity for a great breakthrough. Now I don't mean these problems where you got a bunch of people whining and all that stuff running around. I mean like something comes up like you're going for a big goal and it's like hmm, what? we got something going on here stopping us from hitting the big goal. Like that's kind of exciting. It's like okay we're going after the big goal. We got something here. Let's figure out what if we solve this thing we're going to accomplish the big goal. I mean that's kind of an exciting thing to work on. A big big goal. A big big dream. Who doesn't want to do that, right? So have fun going after your big dreams. Work on the problems you want to work on, not on the problems that you think you have to work on, which is another big difference with business owners. Business owners need to expand, so they need to be focused on things that are expansive, not wasting and spending their time with people who aren't expansive, right? Not spending time on problems that aren't expansive. Right? So as you start thinking like a CEO, as you start thinking like an entrepreneur, entrepreneurs are expanding so they're only focused on the things that are expansive for the organization and they're focused on big possibilities and opportunities. You should do the same thing too because if you were in your life, you see that opportunity also creates money. The bigger the opportunity, most of the time the bigger the opportunity to make more money. So why not jump in the game and play that game? So that is secret number one when it comes to money. The second thing that I want to talk to you about when it comes to money is passive income. So most of us are trained in a way where we give our time and we trade time for dollars, right? So it's like, okay, here's my time and then you pay me this much for my time per hour and you look at that and you go, okay, well, you know, if I actually looked at my time per hour right now of what, like, like what my time would be per hour, it's a lot of money. I'd have to calculate and look at the revenue of the company and then look at my time per hour, but it's a lot of money. But I don't look at my 
actual time from that perspective. I look at my life and I go, all right, well, how do I set up systems that actually make me money? so that I can be in many places at once. Now, online today is an incredible opportunity for you to make money. Why? Because when you look at the simplicity of it, take a video that you saw recently on Facebook or Instagram or YouTube, it's everywhere. Well, when you think about that, that video is really everywhere. As far as you want it to reach, it could be in front of millions of people at once. So let me ask you this question. If you're in front of one person and it's you, versus in front of millions of people, what is greater leverage of your time? Being in front of millions of people. So right here you see on the screen, there's a simple marketing system that you should get to know. It's a very effective thing, but I set up a simple system in my business. Like, how do I create something that brings an income for me? Now, if you wanna sell any product online, this is a great way to do it. Let's say you're selling pools, or you're selling real estate, or you're selling cars, or you're selling you know, information on, you're teaching people how to do something, like how to make movies, or how to sing, or how to build a business. Like, there's all kinds of things you could sell online. You could sell cameras online, you could sell flip charts online, you could sell lights online. There's so much stuff you could sell online. Well, we set up a simple structure that actually sells stuff online. So the first thing you see here is what's called an opt-in page, right? And on this opt-in page right now, we give away something free. So let's say you're selling a camera, right? And you're actually selling a physical product of a camera. Wouldn't it be great if you had a free gift that you give away like a manual? Like, hey, here's, um, you know, here's a free camera starter kit for dummies who wanna learn about using cameras, right? And you literally just give away a free gift on a manual that showed people how to use cameras. I mean, if you're gonna buy a camera, you might as well know how to use one. And I'd be like, man, if I, if I needed to use a camera, I'd be like, man, I'd kind of be interested in learning how to you know, use this thing before I buy it. So somebody gives me a free gift on how to actually operate a camera. Be like, if I'm, in, if I'm in the market for cameras, I'm going, I'm putting my email address in here to get this free formula or instruction manual on how to do cameras. You see? So right there, anybody who's selling physical products, right? Any one of you watching right now selling physical products, if you were providing information that help people use and understand your product better, you'd sell so much more of your product, it'd be crazy. So much more of your product. Because you're earning trust by saying, hey, let me give you a gift to show you how to use this thing. Somebody gives their email, you've now captured an email address to grow your email list, right? You got somebody consuming this free content that you've given away, just like you're consuming this video right now for free, right? And all of a sudden they start to like you, they start to trust you, and then what happens? Well, then you sell them something. Then maybe on the next page, which you see here like the sales page, you go, hey, now that you got the instruction manual for how to operate a camera, you should probably buy one. So here's this camera for XYZ dollars, I'm selling cameras. Could you do this in your business? If that was you, rather than just opening up a camera store, like you could have an online store where people just buy the cameras all day long. Wouldn't that be great? So it's like having real estate online. How valuable is that? You have a store where anybody in the world can go navigate this store without getting on a plane, without coming to see you face to face. You have a store that lives there, all a global store. That is a great opportunity to have passive income. Wouldn't you agree? So you can have that opportunity. How exciting is that? Pretty good, right? So that's the second thing that I recommend is setting up a system that brings in passive income. Now, if you're somebody who's watching this right now and you're like, hey, Ted, I don't sell hard products. No, no, no worries. I teach stuff on how to grow businesses. So, and how to market yourself and how to sell. Like, I'm not selling any physical products. So, don't worry. I make millions of dollars online teaching people how to do things. It's that simple. I sell video products or programs, like three modules, five modules to teach somebody how to speak from the stage and they pay thousands of dollars for it. How to market your business and your products and services to millions and people pay thousands of dollars for it. And it's information, why? Step by step information people are thirsting for because they want the formula for success or they want the formula to do the thing they wanna do. So you should earn passive income, how great would that be? Right, you're probably just wondering what the first step is, well I've given you a step right here, start thinking about the free thing that you would give away, okay? Because if you give away free stuff, you'll become a leader in your space, people will respect you, they'll be like, I want more of that guy's stuff, and then they'll buy your stuff or that lady's stuff, okay? The third thing that I want you to think about right now that is kind of counter to this whole thing about the secrets of money, but here's my idea on the secrets of money, like if you're not using money to go after your dream, what's the point? What's the point of having it? 
Like you can have somebody who makes a lot of money and unless their hobby is just making money and they love, they have the hobby, they, they love making money because they love the game and that's their total fulfillment in life is to make money and they could create a whole business where they're just making money all the time and they love it every single day, great. But there's a lot of people in the world who want to make money to contribute, who want to make money to live a dream, who want to make money to be on purpose, who want to make money because they want to use money to do great things. And not that making money isn't a great thing. I think it's a great thing. I think it's a great game. But there's also a bigger game than just making money. So I think one of the greatest secrets is to utilize your money for your dream. You know, I have money. I have somebody coming over tonight to start the Good Enough movie. I have a play on my life story. I'm now turning it into a movie. Somebody's coming over tonight. I was like, hey, I'll write you a little bit of a check here to start to see how your work is. And let's get started on writing the script for the movie, right? I have money to do that. I've made money doing something that I love, speaking launching my business online. It was such a fun game for me for a while. Now I have other people that I want to help me do this because I'm moving on to something that I love which is the entertainment and more creativity in my life and more expression. So speaking initially was great because it was expression. But now I want more expression. So I want more creativity. I want to do it through movies. I want to do it. I'm already doing it on the stage doing my play. You should come if you're in Los Angeles. We're going to be also touring in Chicago so you should come. Okay? But it's cool, right? Because money can be used for a dream. Now isn't this so much more invigorating than to know that money can be used for something that you actually want to do with something with? And what a great thing to also choose a dream that also has a message in it because wouldn't it be great if you're living your dream and you could change people's lives and help society? I think it would be a great thing. Right? One of the things I love about doing my play is at the end I talk to people about drug free world because I OD'd from drugs and alcohol and I talk to everybody about hey it's drug free world and I raise money for drug free world which is a great charity. You should check it out because it informs people and educates people about drugs and the effects of them and lets them make their own decision because what gets in the, gets in the way of us living our dreams sometimes? Not having a good plan. I didn't have a plan. It's as simple as that. That's why I chose drugs. There was no plan. I had no future. I had no dream. If my dream was so hidden and buried inside, I, I couldn't even confront it. It was suppressed. I don't know. I, I mean, I turned to drugs because there was nothing better to do. So I think the key to somebody living their dreams and making money in a way to where they can put it to use to the world is actually, actually staying on the right path to follow those dreams, having the financial viability to actually put money into those dreams and staying away from the bad stuff like the alcohol and the drugs and all that stuff that's a distraction in society when you could be putting your creativity into creative construction rather than destruction. Because a lot of times today money is used for what? Not a lot of good purposes. We got a lot of industries out there that are pretty nasty, right? That they're just, they're just, just like gouging money from people, right? Be in an industry where you can follow your dream, you can put your money to use because no amount of money in the world is worth it if you're doing something that's bad in the world. Do something that's good, change a life today, follow these money secrets. The first two show you how to make money. The third one shows you how to make contribution to the world with your money. Make a contribution. I hope you enjoyed this. If you like this video, I suggest that you grab the gift right now to get more of the deep dive secrets that I've got on money right here. So grab it. And also, make sure you subscribe to the channel because I got more videos like this to teach you more great stuff about money, about business, about speaking, about selling, about following your dreams, all kinds of great stuff. And leave a comment down below in the form of a question because I'd like to create more of a relationship with you and answer some of your questions. And if you like this video, then you should go like it down below because it would serve me and help me if I served you. So I'll see you soon in the next video. Have a good one. Talk to you soon.